students, I am so glad to see you today. I am Natalie and you are watching in class. And we go on learning some English. Тож ми продовжуємо вивчати англійську. And today we continue reading a very famous and interesting adventure novel by French novelist, poet and playwright Jules Gabriel Verne. І сьогодні ми продовжуємо читати дуже відомий і цікавий пригодницький роман французького письменника, поета і драматурга Жюль Верна. The name for this novel is Around the World in 80 Days, а назва цього роману – Навколо світу за 80 днів. But in the second chapter there may be some words that are unfamiliar for you. Але в другому розділі можуть бути деякі слова, які вам не знайомі. Let's look at them and learn. Давайте подивимось на них і вивчимо. Let's look at the words that we may need while reading the story. Давайте подивимось на слова, які нам знадобляться, коли ми будемо читати історію. Telegram – телеграма. Station – станція. Temple – храм. Priest – жрець. Railway – залізниця. To build – будувати. Princess – Принцеса. Fire – вогонь. Clothes – одяг. Well, now you are ready to start reading and listening to this story. Тож тепер ви готові почати читати і слухати розповідь. Enjoy it. Насолоджуйтесь. Fix looks at Passepartout. Where are you going? He asks. Around the world says Passepartout. But right now, I need some new shirts. Fix takes him to a shop and leaves him there. Then he sends a telegram to London. The gentleman thief is going to Bombay. Stop. From Fix. Later, he gets on the ship for Bombay with Fog and Passepartout. It is the 20th of October. They all arrive in Bombay two days early. At 4.30 in the afternoon, Fogg and Passepartout leave the ship. They want to get a train across India to Calcutta. It leaves at 8 o'clock. First, Fogg goes to the passport office. Then he eats at the station. Passepartout visits the temple at Malabar Hill. But he doesn't take off his shoes. Visitors must remove their shoes. The priests get angry. They take his shoes and Passepartout runs away. Fogg and Passepartout get on the train. But Fix stays in Bombay. He is waiting for a telegram from London. After three days, 
the train stops. The railway from Colby to Allahabad isn't ready. Some men are building the railway, but there are 80 kilometers without a railway between Colby and Allahabad. In Colby, Passepartout gets some new shoes. He also finds an elephant to take them to a lullabad. They stop near a temple in the village of Pilaji. The old Indian prince is dead. His young wife. The princess must die with him in a big fire. We must help that woman, says Fog. The priests start the fire. Through the smoke, Fog sees something beautiful. The prince stands up. And takes the princess out of the fire. The prince and the princess come nearer. Fog sees that the man is not the prince. It is Passepartout in the prince's clothes. Quickly, let's go," says Passepartout to Fog, quietly. Suddenly, the priests see the prince's body on the fire. They see that the man in the prince's clothes is not the prince, and they become angry. Fog, Passepartout, and the princess leave very quickly on the elephant. After finishing reading the second chapter, you have some tasks. Після завершення прочитання другого розділу, ви маєте деякі завдання. I want to see how you understood the story. Я хочу побачити, як ви зрозуміли історію. Be attentive. Now you have to put the sentences into correct order and find the name of the elephant that Mr. Fox, Passepartout and Princess write. А зараз ви маєте поставити речення у правильний порядок і знайти ім'я слона на якому Містер Фокс, Паспарту і принцеса їздили. For example, the first event is Паспарту asks Паспарту and Fix speak, so the first letter is K. What is next? Паспарту, Фок and Fix get on a ship, and the second letter is I. After that, Passepartout goes to a temple and loses his shoes, and the third letter is O. Then, Passepartout and Fogg get on a train, and the fourth letter is U. Next, Passepartout gets new shoes and finds an elephant, and the fifth letter is N. And finally, Passepartout helps a young woman, and the sixth letter is I. So the name of elephant is Kayanai. Now you have named the words in the pictures and find them in the word square. А зараз ви маєте назвати слова на картинках і знайти їх у квадраті зі словами. So, in the picture A we can see a station. In the picture B there is a rail. Picture C shows us a temple. 
She is a princess. Here we have a priest. Then there are some clothes. He is a prince. This is a telegram. This animal is called an elephant. And finally, here we have fire. And now find these words in the word square. So here we have a telegram. And princess is here. Then we see some clothes. Elephant is here. Temple is below the elephant. Rail is under the temple. Priest is here. Now we can see a station. And fire. Well done, you worked hard today. But that's all, it's time to finish our lesson and have some rest. See you in a week, take care and goodbye! Hi everyone, this is Teen Time with Inti Class. My name is Alexey and so coming up in this program Healthy Lifestyle in Modern World Today there is a good saying You are what you eat to what extent do you agree with these words? In my opinion, good food is easy to cook and it consists of many important nutrients to energize you. I would like to point out what food is really important, including habits and inference and of course different dishes. So be very attentive and try to understand how to live healthily and happily. So today we are going to talk with you about healthy food and right food energizes you and right food can heal. So before you listen, we can use the following words to talk about food. It's contain, halibut, inspire an appetite, and ginger, alleviate, nutrients, boost and supply nutrients. And now let's go on try to use these words in the following presentation. So tip 1. Eat more fish. The most important and appropriate halibut, tuna and salmon. These products contain selenium that is very important to struggle cold. Drink ginger tea. Ginger is very important. Ginger has a lot of benefits. It inspires an appetite. It stirs up some ginger tea to get rid of throat and nose congestion. And next tip is honey. Honey is a sweet liquid made by bees using nectar from flowers. Honey also possesses antiseptic and antibacterial properties. Moreover, honey alleviates allergies, boosts memory, and good cough suppressant. Tip 4. 
you consume dairy products. Milk and dairy products contain many nutrients and provide a quick and easy way of supplying these nutrients to the diet within relatively few calories. Calcium, for example, for healthy bones and teeth, magnesium for muscle function, and protein for growth and repair. Enjoying mental health means having a sense of well-being, being able to function during everyday life. Of course, and feelings are very important. If you feel confident to rise to a challenge when the opportunity arises, you are very energetic. Just like your physical health, there are actions you can take to increase your mental health. Boost your well-being and stay mentally healthy by following a few simple steps. Ways to stay healthy mentally you know that mental health is also very important. How to stay healthy mentally? There are four basic ways. Take time to enjoy, take care of yourself, rest and refresh, and challenge yourself. So take time to enjoy. The first step is very easy. Set aside time for activities, hobbies, and projects you enjoy. Let yourself be spontaneous and creative. Take a walk in your local park, read a book, see a quilt, draw pictures with your kids, and play tennis. And of course, you'll get a lot of good mood. Next one, take care of yourself. Be active and eat well. This helps maintain a healthy body. Physical and mental health are closely linked. It's easier to feel good about life if your body feels good. Rest and refresh. Get plenty of sleep. Go to bed at a regular time each day and practice good habits to get better sleep. Sleep restores both your mind and body. And, of course, challenge yourself. Learn a new skill or take on a challenge to meet a goal. You could take on something different and work or learn to cook a new recipe. Learning improves your mental fitness and gives you a sense of progress and achievement. So remember about four ways to stay healthy mentally. Take time to enjoy, take care of yourself, rest and refresh, and challenge yourself. Both physical and mental activities are really important was said by one famous American mathematician. I completely agree with this saying, but how to take active lifestyle if you want to live quickly, especially in a big city? You should take up some new recreational activities. As a result, they will improve your mood, boost your energy and arise your enthusiasm. What are these activities? Watch the following video presentation and you will understand what they are. Recreation So if you talk about recreation, there are different ways to recreate. It's skiing, backpacking, trail running, snorkeling, windsurfing or fishing. Windsurfing An engaging combination of sailing and surfing. If you are itching to try this sport, know that it does take some patience and perseverance to become proficient. And going on to another kind of sport, it's also very important for recreation, for boosting your energy and giving you, actually, good mood. Of course, it's skiing. Considered to be one of the most endurance sports out there, skiing promises to test your fitness. If you are looking for a sport that burns the most calories per hour, this is it. Backpacking. Not to be confused with backpacking for traveling purposes, overnight backpacking describes a multi-day hike that involves camping. Aside from the health benefits, backpacking allows adventurers to enjoy remote places that are usually unaccessible by any other means. And to sum up, today you gave found out a very good information, a part of it about health lifestyle, a part of it about different dishes. Firstly, it's good food containing a lot of nutrients. And moreover, activities for recreation are also important to rise mood. Have successful classes in studying English, take care, be healthy, and goodbye!